Hey guys, it's me, Cloud here. Welcome to the channel. Today I am doing a beginner's guide for the game of Adventure Quest 3D. Um, sorry if you can hear my mask in the background. Uh, I really do apologize for that. Um, now, with Adventure Quest 3D, it's been in open beta for a little while, um, but it, there's no really good guides on the actual things, on the actual classes and whatnot. Um, like Gold Reaper, he's a pretty good YouTuber, but he fails to explain certain things. He is, he, as I said, he's a really good YouTuber, but he doesn't um, go in depth like I'm planning to go in depth. He's more of a play the game for um, fun and for fame and whatnot. For me, I play the game literally just for fun and because I enjoy it. Um, so today I'll be showing you the first bit of the game, like a bit of a tour of the first level of the game. So, um, bit of clarification, I am using the Guardian class right now, which is a pay for, it's a class you need to pay for. It is a very awesome class. Um, my favorite is the Guardian, of course, because he's a Guardian, Jesus lag spike there. Um, I'm currently using the Dragon Guardian, because the chest plate and helmet look the best. And then I'm wearing the shadow armor on top of it. Um, right, so sorry for that. So, the Guardian class itself is just badass in general. Um, right, so anyway, as I was going to say, we need to go into the first level. Just going to go into the intro and go to the battlefield. Um, so this will be your first loading when you first start playing the game. So it gives you like a little quick tutorial on how to play the game. But the best thing about this game is that it, it literally throws you right in. It doesn't give you a tutorial and here's the reason. So here's one of the beloved characters, uh, Zor Zor uh, fuck, Zorbak. He's an awesome character from the original Adventure Quest and he's funny as shit. Um, right, so here's the rest of these are pretty boring. I'm just, I'm just going to play the I Hate Tutorials one here. Yeah. The cartoons take a bit to load and they will lag, so I apologize for that. Because this game is in uh, is in an early beta and they animate Stitch using Unity 3, which is, an which is an outdated platform. Anyway, here we go. Zack, hey, who are you? Me, I'm Zobak. I'm a super cute, cuddly, and 100% good guy mascot character of Adventure Quest 3D. Pop quiz, what's worse than a zombie eating your entire family? What? Nothing is worse than that. Oh yes, there is. Tutorials. I fucking hate tutorials. You know, that kind of force to kick up things the entire first hour of the game. Peh. But good news. I found the guy spider for making the tutorials. Me. You did? Yep, found him and pushed him right into the ended army's path. What? Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. No need for thanks. So unlike other games, you will you will need to actually run around and click on stuff to figure out what the heck's going on. Uh, Zorbak, are you evil? Evil? Evil is such a subjective, socially constructed term. But yes, 100% evil, baby. <laughs> Man, get moving. This Elven Beard is gonna play itself. He's a very fun. He's a very funny character. Uh, yeah, you you run into your first cutscene, um, which is rather how do I put this? Um, it's rather cutscene -y, like, it plays you off as a, a good guy character right, right off the bat. Right, puts you in the shoes of somebody trying to try to somebody else. You're trying to save a little girl and and her grandpa. But the thing about um, Arctic Entertainment, they always throw in jokes. Right, like this one here. Don't worry, I know I'm making it out alive. You? But how? Because I can run faster than you. You're an ass, Grampy! Keep talking about that and throw into the wood like we need your sister. We need a miracle! Need a hand? That, I like how it's titled right here, The Miracle, right there. And then he's like, oh, okay, so let's just skip right through this. Basically, they, they ask you to save their asses, right? Not really important, but I'm just gonna do it anyway, because I like, use, like showing off my power. Beating my sword, bitch. No. Wait, like... With me, I have a, a mix between the regular Guardian um, armor and the Shadow armor, which you can only get in the final level of the game. 
uh, or, the, or the final area of the game at the moment. I know that that uh, I know that that that, um, that Ash Mountain is coming up pretty pretty soon. So this is where you, you have your first little bounce with the Guardians. Now in the and the, then the closed beta, I re, um, I remember coming through here, and um, the Guardian used to say stuff like, "Oh, um, it was really funny." Like there was a, a bit about a dragon blowing blowing up a box. I don't really remember because I've only recently gotten back into the, 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 the game. Fuck the stutter, I'm sorry. Um, right, but as you can see, if I do this little motion here, right, I can look exactly like him. Check it out. We're a <laughs> freaking clone. Uh, that's because I'm using the Elite Dragon Rider perk, which you can only use if you buy it. I'm just gonna run through these guys, not important. Except for you, I wanna kill you. There we go, big tall guy guys. Now, this is your first. This is literally your first level. All oh, the games here are your tips, right? Um, so here we got Gaz. He will sell you your first weapons and armor, right? Um, which he steals from corpses. Uh, it's not really funny, but I basically let's just skip the cutscene. He wants you to, to save his ass, and in return, he'll sell you all this junk here. This is where you can get your, your first um, high-powered weapon, which is, uh, where, well, the cheapest one is the, is the Lion Knight Sword, which is a pretty good-looking weapon. It fits well with the Dragonite's armor, but didn't look good to me. Then we have the Long Dagger. Now, the <laughs> this is the best weapon to use in terms of, of the attack for a cheap um, perspective. It's a very low-grade weapon, but it's not horrible in any um, way of the sense. The axe is the next best thing, right? It looks good and it acts good, okay? But if you're gonna go for something good, go for the Unholy Avenger. This is a badass looking sword that does tons of freaking damage. And just for this video, I'm gonna buy it again and I'm gonna use it, even though that's gonna drop my. I don't wanna read out the cutscene, frick's sake. Ugh, yeah, just have the cutscene again. Right, so press I for inventory, go down to the bottom. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna equip the Unholy Avenger. Lose my Guardian Sword. The Unholy Avenger is your first badass sword. It does decent damage, but I guess it's because I'm... I'm maxed up <laughs> with my stats. I've, I've got a mix between the defense, final armor, and... Um, and uh, attack armor. The cape is pretty badass, though. You get it for doing the Necro Knight a bunch of times. Um, alright, sorry, I'm rambling off here, but so, you have these big skeletons who wait here, right? Now, they are, they are voluntary to attack, because you can check, carry, well, like, NPCs or mobs that have an orange border, you don't have to attack them, right? Um, you just don't have to. But, okay, so here so we have the, the War Fiend, I can, I, I can solo him easily, because I'm a badass. And boom. Right, so that's the War Fiend dead. Now, um, back at the start you have Zorback who was doing that whole who was doing that whole bitch, right? He actually has a, a crafting shop where these torn flags will become useful. You can make your first actual o o like OP cape. It's a bit like uh, this one here. This this cape came through in the new Black Friday sales event, which I like the look of. Um, right, so it looks pretty cool. Uh, well, well, the one you get from Zorback is just, uh, it doesn't have the symbol. This here is the, the, there's a Cyber Knight one. Let's equip the Guardian Blade again and equip the Warthorn Cloak. See, most of my armor is the really rare Shadow Armor, and, and then I have other rare stuff. Uh, okay, um, right, sorry about that game kind of screwed up there. And I gotta fix my settings. Yeah, as, as I said, this is in early beta. So expect some bugs, as I said a thousand times before. Um, all right. Uh, so here you'll get your first um, te teleportation crystal, which will move you straight to battalion or bat. bat how do I say this? Battalion, which is one of the vintage places from the or the original A AQ. So this is the mysterious voice. He's basically saying they should need to go to battalion to, you know, save the freaking world, right? Um, so then you come back. So you come to, to a battalion, which is pretty cool. Um, this is like a hub world. They haven't added that much into it yet, but stuff is coming. I can feel it. Um, right. Um, 
not right now mid to late December all right so bit of information here these are gonna be your custom homes so they'll let you make your own homes right which is gonna be cool then you have the barber over here you'll get to have a, a, a sneak peek under the helmet check it out um, this has always been my favorite hairstyle this one here not that this one here this has always been my favorite hairstyle the color could use a bit of toning down or a bit of toning up this looks like one of the characters from the Guardian War Council um, treats his people like chess. Anyway, so I'm just going to keep my current one. Um, NP. Then they have a bunch of other shops opening, like um, Apocryphy, which is going to be used to, to make potions. You have the, the, the Librarium for the use of reading up on the game's fiction. Then here we have the Magic Shop, which is open, but I'm not going to go into that now. I'll do that in another video where we explore the different places of Battalion and whatnot. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed watching this, this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you can. If you don't want to, um, go right ahead. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. I love you all, of course. Enjoy your lives. Uh, to anybody who is featured in the video who is currently not interested in being featured in the video, please tell me and I'll re-edit it since you guys are. Like, you know, like a characters like these people over here, they might not want me putting them in the video. So I'll need to remove them after editing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Love you all. Of course, enjoy your lives. Peace out.